I'm 44 years old. Um, I have a daughter. Um, I'm black. Um, I'm gay. I have uh, dealt with a lot of what folks are talking about. And I know some of you are first time hearing me say that, uh, that I am a black gay male. But um, being that, I have had the opportunity, and just recently, to hear people who didn't know that um, say stuff. I've heard them say something about this bill. I've heard them say stuff about, uh, about uh, folks that I love and care deeply for. Um, <laughs> I, I look at my campaign team. I look at um, how I get here and how I got here. Uh, very dedicated folks, uh, but they're people that's connected to me. And I've heard some people say some nasty, ugly things because they didn't know that. And they've said some things um, in my presence. I haven't said much. Um, and and uh, for people that know me well, um, for me not to say something takes a lot of constraint. Um, and so to hear uh, what I'm hearing um, and knowing the respect that I have for a lot of people um, and had a constituent say to me uh, a few years ago when I voted for domestic partnership that, that uh, she wasn't going to vote for me anymore because I was um, pretty much dumbing down her marriage. And I heard uh, my colleague from District 13 a minute ago, um, 13, 15, 13, a uh, minute ago says, uh, saying that this does, this does nothing uh, to hamper her, her marriage. And I say that because some people really, really have this thing in their head. If, uh, if marriage equality is passed, it somehow um, interrupts their marriage. She said to me that, and, I, and, I, she, and she said she wasn't voting for any more, me anymore. And I told her, if this uh, somehow interrupts your marriage, um, then your marriage was in trouble in the first place. 